Here's my demonstration. I was having some errors earlier, so now that I've updated the app on my phone, those will be taken care of. Open up Instagram. Okay. Um, I was already in this mode from last time, so let me get to the main screen. Here's my feed. You can see some of the photos posted by people I'm following. And those just show up just like a Twitter feed or any kind of stream, like Tumblr. You can always like or comment on any photo here. And um, that's a good way to actually make friends with users when you don't know them and you see they have something awesome. You might comment or like it. Oftentimes they'll follow you back, especially if you have some good stuff in your library already. Let's demonstrate how to upload. You go to share and you'll have the option to take a photo or choose one from your library. So let's take this photo, which I've been meaning to post. I saw this blue station wagon when I was in Santa Monica recently, and um, it looked pretty funny. It was bright blue. I thought this would look great with certain filters on Instagram. And we have a bunch of different options here. This one's called Early Bird. This is Sutro. I like Toaster for many photos. I end up with that one. So I would say Next, now that I've chosen my filter. Then you can add a description where it says what. You can add a location. It's geotagged. It can have an auto geotag or you could fill it in yourself and search for it then you can decide which social networks you want to share the photo on. And there's Twitter, Facebook, email, Tumblr. Those are the ones that I've selected and that I have enabled within Instagram. But you can always add Foursquare, Posteris, and you can use any or all or none. And just if you wanted to post it only to Instagram, that would be possible as well. Then you would say next and it would share your photo with all of your friends. So this is a, a great little app, and I highly recommend it. It's fun to play around with, and it's free. There's no reason not to use it.